So it's Easter day here in Greece and our hotel last night for Easter gave us a traditional Easter um, little platter here. So they gave us this bread. It looks like sweet bread with almonds on it. And they dye their Easter eggs red with a lot of times with white decorations. Um, so here's hard boiled eggs and this delicious cooking sweet bread. We've been very fortunate to be here in Greece during Holy Week before uh, Greek Orthodox Easter. So I showed in another video some of the Easter foods and um, one more thing that we picked up there. <clears throat> they definitely do have, um, you know, chocolate Easter eggs. Um, went to a chocolate store that had um, big chocolate eggs and with lots of little eggs around it. So we um, tried some of the different, some of these different Easter eggs made by uh, two different <coughs> companies. So they're chocolate, milk, or dark, <coughs> and they're all filled with different fillings. Had a whole variety. Oh, there's also milk, uh, white chocolate ones too. All with a variety of different fillings. So that was fun to try those. Um, and then we were here on Good Friday. So even though it's not food related, the tradition is so interesting. So I'm going to show you videos from uh, Good Friday, their service. At like eight o'clock, the bells start ringing. It's very solemn, like one chime, one chime. And that was to signify Jesus's death. And then all the Greek people went to their churches. They all just walked to different churches around Athens. They brought candles with them. And then um, they would do a procession around the church. Well, the one that we saw here, we were, um, the parliament building is like across the street from our hotel. And so we watched that service, the people coming down, they were carrying the epitaph of Jesus. They, so they were carrying that, very reminiscent of Catholic ceremonies. And um, so I'll show you some of the video of that. It's Good Friday here in Greece, um, according to their Greek Orthodox calendar. And so tonight there is going to be a big procession um, with an epitaph or something and prayers and they're gonna go around the whole square. Oh, look over there. And hopefully we're in the right spot to be able to see it here in a little bit. In the background, maybe you hear these solemn bells that they've been chiming so <clears throat> I think that's a call for all the people to go to their nearest <coughs> church and <coughs> that's where they're starting processions and that there's processions around like every church um, so all, you see all these Greek people going um, and then they're gonna join this procession so this one we have here is right next to the uh, parliament building so hopefully it'll be really interesting um, and then tomorrow they have a more upbeat um, one for at midnight celebrating when Jesus arose but tonight being Good Friday it's a more solemn procession the way I understand it many of the Greek people have these long thin candles that have like a red cup on the top of them. Um, I assume those will be part of this procession.
Oh my goodness, that was a really interesting experience. I love um, getting the opportunity to experience a different culture's um, celebration. This is their ho a holiday, very important holiday for the Greek Orthodox and that we were having to be here at the time to see this uh, was amazing. And I see so many parallels with the Catholic Church um, and I know that they have a lot of similar beliefs. Uh, so hearing all them singing the Kyrie Eleison, that was familiar. And then they did like a call and response and then amen. Um, and then the incense, um, and there was the epitaph and the priests with the crosses. Yeah, very uh, reminiscent of of the Catholic Church, and so it it was it was really great, interesting, and I'm glad we we're here to see it. So it's been very interesting to learn about their religion. Some of the things I have learned about the Greek Orthodox Church compared to Catholics is that the priests in the Greek Orthodox Church have to be married. Um, they want them to be married and have children. And in fact, if they're not married when they go to be a priest, then instead they become monks. So monks still take a vow of celibacy. I believe they said the nuns are also celibate. We went yesterday uh, to a big church on Agena Island and saw where the nuns live in a nunnery, like a chapel where the nuns were. And then this huge church, um, and it was a beautiful church. Anyway, so that was some of the <clears throat> interesting things that we've uh, seen around Easter here in Athens. Kalo Pasca, Happy Easter in Greek.